This is the second tutorial in teaching you how to use, launch, and get data from the U20L data or onset hobo data logger measure pressure transducer. Uh, in the first one, I showed you how to launch the data logger. In this one, I'm going to show you how to download the data. Um, and then the third one, we'll talk about processing the data. Um, so as before, you, in this case, you are going to need your field laptop with you when you go on site to get the data, to collect the data. So you'll go in, open up your computer, go into Hopeware Pro, connect your shuttle, all similar to as you did when launching. It'll show you your shuttle is connected. You will get the pressure transducer you're interested in working with, um, put it into the coupler on the shuttle, just like you did when you're launching it. Press the lever to tell the two things to talk to each other. And then down here in the lower left hand corner, as soon as they're talking to each other, you should see it pop up. Here we go. U20L04 water level, serial number 109, blah, blah, blah. So this time, instead of going device launch, we're just going to go to device readout. Uh, before we do that, I'll show you though what you can always see how it's doing. Click the status update. It'll bring up a window that looks like this. Same one. Um, and what you see here is that it is currently logging. That's great. Um, that's what we wanted to see. Things are looking fine. If you want to double check to make sure the values you're looking at are realistic, you can also see that right here. I'm just going to close that. It's not important. I'm going to go to readout. Um, sometimes you'll get the question, which device am I, do you want me to talk to? And in this case, it's pre-selected. Yes, that's the one. Logger is currently logging. Do you wish to stop? Um, this, for, for right now, I'm going to utilize the don't stop button. Uh, if you were to stop the file, if you click the stop here, what it does is it prevents the logger from continuing to collect data. Um, and it will be the end of your file. And you'll need to remember to relaunch using the same characteristics you had launched with in the first place. That's fine. In this case, <clears throat> and if you're running out of data, if that's a concern, stopping will also remove all of the data from the data logger. So that's an important consideration. Alternatively, if you select don't stop, that data will remain on the logger and it will just keep logging. Um, in that case, and then it'll just, it's a little, kind of a little built-in redundancy into the system, assuming that you're not worried that the data will overwrite. But again, remember from the launch setup tutorial, if you're collecting data at 30 minute intervals, you have 1.2 years worth of data collection. So as long as you're coming out there more frequently than that, this shouldn't be too much of an issue. So I'm going to go to the don't stop option. Um, it's going to ask me where I want to save this. Um, for now, I'm just going to call this, uh, I'm collecting this data in the office. So I'm going to call it office uh, example data. And I'm going to leave that serial number in there just in case I really need to track this down later. And what you'll note here is that it's being saved. The file type option only gives you one type here, and it's a .hobo. And this is pretty important. This is part of the reason you need the hobo software. So I'm just going to save it just like that. And actually, that's it. The next thing that will come up is the plot setup window. Uh, and this is something you can do in the field if you have access to your barometric pressure file. Um, but if you don't, then this step isn't really worth very much in the field to you. Um, but just to highlight that we don't need to do this, I'm not going to do it and come back for the next tutorial and we'll sort of show how you actually process data because this is really what this is about to ask us to do. So I'm just going to cancel uh, and that's it. You have, as it says down here, read out your data successfully. That data is preserved in its best raw format and that's all.